Before we dive into understanding web services, it might be a good idea to understand traditional monolithic MVC applications. If you already know about them, that's great. Otherwise, here is a simple scenario. Imagine that I have a company and we provide weather forecasting services. Now, whenever somebody visits our website or of many features, they're going to see a button that says show current temperature. When the user clicks on this button, they will be shown with the current temperature depending on the user's location. Well, behind the scenes, this is how it works. As soon as the user clicks the button, a HTTP request will be sent from the browser to the server. The underlying container will then forward that request to a relevant controller. Controller will delegate that call to model. This is where we would have the business logic interacting with the database, etc. And in our case, we're going to figure out the current temperature in model section. And then after that, from within the model, we're going to send back the response, basically an object that would constitute the data back to the controller. Controller will then handle that data to some view technology, depending on the view technologies that you use. For example, if you're using JSP, the JSP would consume that data and JSP file would be converted into equivalent servlet file, which will have a bunch of println statements. And then ultimately, that servlet would be executed and the response would be sent back with the HTML back to the client. And so user will see the response. And in this case, we're assuming that our application is residing in a single server. There are certain challenges with traditional monolithic applications. Let's talk about a few of them. Imagine that there is another company who are providing flight booking services so their customers can book flights, etc. What they found out is that they also needed some weather information depending on which they would schedule flights. At the same time, they don't want to spend a lot of money hiring people to develop that service for them. Instead, what they want to do is to use our service by paying a certain amount. So they will approach us and we talk about a deal and finally we agree with a contract to use our service. From that point on, what they will do is they will send HTTP requests from their application, from their business logic to our service to extract the weather information. But our application is designed in such a way, we won't be sending the data, but we'll send data along with the HTML or the presentation logic. This is clearly a problem. The flight booking service is expecting our service to send data, but we're not only sending data, but also the presentation logic. This is bad for two good reasons. Number one, the flight booking service does not have knowledge on how to understand HTML. So they have to introduce some additional modules or write additional code to chop off all the HTML tags and extract the data from it. And another problem is, even if they're able to do so, presentation logic will not remain same. It will keep changing. So when we make changes in our HTML code, it's also going to break their code and so their application will not function as well. So this is one problem. Another problem is, if you think about a website like Amazon, you can't expect Amazon to be hosted on a single server. I mean, what if there are not enough resources to handle the traffic? Or what if the server runs off disk space? Or what if there is a bug in the app? That's going to cause the entire application to crash and no one would be able to access the website. So instead, their application is split up into multiple components and each component would be residing in an independent instance of server and each instance would handle a particular task, especially with microservice architecture. And when you split up the application in this manner, they often need to communicate each other in order to perform a business task. But unfortunately, the way we're deploying our applications, they won't be able to talk to each other because we're not sending the data, we're communicating with data with presentation, and that's not feasible at all. So this is clearly a problem. Another problem arises when you talk about single page applications. If you don't know about single page application, here is the simplest definition of the same. A single page application is an application that does not need a page reload when the user is interacting with the application or the website. Here are some of the examples of single page applications. Let's talk about Gmail for instance. The moment you log into Gmail, 
you're going to see all the email subjects and when you click on one of those subjects all the content would come up but the page reload does not happen as soon as you click the subject similarly with the Google Docs when you're navigating through the entire Google Docs application it does not cause page to be reloaded only that particular section which you wanted to access would be populated Twitter is also a single page application you can click on multiple links that are available in Twitter and use all its features without causing page to be reloaded same is the case with Instagram the moment you click on image it does not cause page to be reloaded same is the case with Netflix there are many such examples including Facebook Facebook is also partially single page application and basically it's not about page not getting reloaded the idea is that it will improve the performance of the application and gives a better user experience single page applications are possible because of the way it works whenever user visits the website a get request would be sent to the server server would then respond back with all the HTML CSS JavaScript etc and from that point on for all the user interactions with that website the server would only send back the data without the presentation logic because server has already injected the JavaScript which is a client code essentially like Angular, React or Vue.js which is handling the presentation part by taking the data anyway that's a topic of future but I hope you understood how single page application is working but with our traditional monolithic application server is going to just respond back with HTML making single page applications harder to implement so this is clearly yet another problem we will take a look at how we can bring solutions to these problems with of course web services